friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie, if you guys are new here, and today's video we are gonna be cleaning and undecorating. I don't know about you, but I always feel like I need a brief intermission between my fall decor and my Christmas decor. I definitely love a more simple look here in my home, so I love enjoying just kind of my regular decor before Christmas throws up all over my house. Um, so I do have Christmas videos coming super soon, but I haven't quite brought out my decor yet. You guys will have to let me know down below if you guys started decorating for Christmas yet, or are you guys kind of waiting? I've seen a lot of people already decorating, so I cannot wait to get out my decorations too. All the world, all the spaces inside your heart. As you guys can see, I'm kind of starting here in my family room and I'm just getting all the fall and Halloween decorations taken down. I even had Halloween stuff still on my porch and here it's a good few days after Halloween. So it felt good to kind of get all that cleaned up and put away, but I am gonna go ahead and start here in the family room and then we'll kind of move to the entryway and then into the kitchen. And then of course, there's also going to be cleaning in this video. So if you've come here for motivation, you have definitely come to the right place. I do have to admit that I didn't go through everything and wrap it back in the paper or anything. Seriously, this stuff goes in a tote and it goes under my stairs. No one ever touches it and I'm not worried about anything breaking. So I'm not even gonna take the time to just rewrap everything in the paper. I'm just gonna kind of throw it in the tote. Um, I don't know. I just really wasn't in the mood to take the time. I knew that this was gonna take so much time of my day already. So I just kind of threw it all in a bin. Put 
I wanted to pause for a second and kind of show you guys where I'm at and kind of my method of madness here. As you guys can see, I got all of my fall stuff taken down and put into these totes. Um, so I figured since I'm in here in my storage closet, and I'm gonna have to be getting into my Christmas stuff here pretty soon, that I would go ahead and pull my, crispin, my Christmas bins out and then I can put fall in and that way in the next like week, week and a half, two weeks, if I can make it that long, I can easily get to all my Christmas decor. And I wanted to show you guys my tree I keep in that storage closet and I saw it. So I went ahead and pulled this out and I got the six and a half foot flocked tree by holiday time. And this was from Walmart last year, but it was a little bit smaller in person so i definitely want to go for maybe like a nine foot tree this year let me know where you guys get your trees this one is super beautiful if you need a bargain tree let me see if i can get a better photo for you guys it is flocked and pre-lit and i think this was under a hundred dollars from walmart again just last year so i think this one's going to either go in the loft or maybe in my bedroom i think i'm going to yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think I need to decorate my master bedroom. Comment below. Let me know if you guys decorate in your bedrooms. I usually don't, but with my new furniture and everything, I'm feeling so inspired. But this is my chaos right now, and I'm going to be putting all this away and getting all organized. And I do have my autumn cozy on the TV right now. I thought that was going to be a little bit more inspiring and stuff to have that on to keep me going here. But I got all of my throw pillows put in. Um, I love putting them in scented trash bags. It just keeps the dust off and keeps them from getting like a musty smell. And then I'm pulling out all my regular decor that I have out regularly. And that way I can just make room for everything else, you guys. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now.
My youngest son Colton came downstairs and he saw me cleaning and he asked if he can help and the best thing that I could ever tell you guys if you need to keep your kids busy while you're trying to clean around the house hand them a rag even hand them a squirt bottle of water so they think they're cleaning but he went ahead and helped me with my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and he's wiping down our um, sofa table here and he was just so cute with his little rag in the bottle and he was just being the best little helper. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, then you saw me sharing this clip over there in my stories. I'll link my handle here. I do try and share a lot of behind the scenes over there on my stories and this was just so cute watching him move his little step stool around and he was in charge of the counters he did such a good job i didn't even go back around and wipe them off and it really was helpful because i was able to keep taking down my fall decor here in the kitchen and able to put my other decor back up Where are you? 
Now I had made the boys lunch, so I went ahead and did the floors in the kitchen, and I wanna go ahead and get a jump start on dinner, and I figured this was a great night to do a crock pot meal. So I'm just showing you a few of the ingredients that I used. I just went to my local grocery store and picked up a pot roast, um, some potatoes that I already had in my fridge, I got some beef stock and then I also got some baby carrots and some sweet onion and then salt and pepper and then I love the Mrs. Dash seasoning. So I'm just going to take all this, I'm going to put it into my crock pot and this seriously took me minutes to put together and I just let this cook all day and my house smelled so good. Oh, I gotta wake up. This might be a breakup Cause I don't believe you when you say that you miss me Cause where are your actions to prove me you're different When I say I need you and you head the direction That's leading away from, away from me, baby After I get my pot roast put into the crock pot, this is the time that I usually like to put on my seasonings. But for some reason, when I film, I get so forgetful. So you'll see me put in some seasonings after I put in my veggies, but I do usually prefer to put the seasoning right on the meat itself. So I definitely recommend doing that and then putting in your vegetables and then adding more seasoning on top of that. So just keep that in mind if you decide to make this at home. Now that I have all my ingredients put into the crock pot, I usually put it on low. It was around one o'clock or maybe 1.30 when I put this on. So I'm gonna put this on low and then maybe around like four, 4.30, I'm gonna turn it on high and leave it in here another like 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and then you could always turn it down to low or warm until you are ready to enjoy. So fast forward about five hours and look how amazing this meal looks, you guys. Ugh, I wish you guys could smell this through the screen, but this is such a cozy, really warming meal, especially for the colder months. And I'm just so excited to enjoy this here in a little bit for dinner. Um, but since the boys were so good and helpful today, I wanted to make dinner time extra special and I got this awesome star projector sent to me. I will make sure to have it linked below and this thing is so cool. It's got a Bluetooth speaker. It changes colors and um, you can actually change um, the rhythm of the lights and everything. It is seriously so cool. So I thought while we ate dinner, we could put this on and we can just make dinner time a little bit more fun just to kind of mix up the week. Um, I will also have a coupon code down below for you guys if you wanted to get one of these of your own. So I'll give you guys just a quick sneak peek. Here's Rylan eating his dinner and he's just having the best time with this projector. Um, I've also shared this over on my Instagram and I know a bunch of you guys already snagged it. This would absolutely make the best Christmas gift and even adults, you know, people of all ages would absolutely enjoy this thing. Um, I can also highly recommend maybe building a blanket fort and putting this inside. It was just so much fun. It's time.
time to enjoy this delicious dinner and spend time with my family so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video but I am so happy I got my house just back to square one and just getting all prepped for Christmas thank you so much for watching today's video I just value all of you guys so much and just appreciate all the time you guys take to support my channel and watch my videos you will never know how much it means to me if you guys have not done so already I would love to have you a part of my channel and hit that subscribe button before you leave like I said so many exciting videos are to come I have so many ideas um, I would also appreciate if you could hit that like button before you left as well and I'll see you guys in the next video bye